Oh, fine. I will try it, but I don't know. There's just too many key bindings, and I'm not really good with that. Oh, you mean this? How do I get out of this? shooting people up here in the, uh, in... Alright, now how do I get out of this? Yeah, I do have powers. Yeah, but it, there has to be a... Well, I don't know. Hold on. I, I, I can't deal with this right now. We'll worry about this when I'm in battle. But how do I get out of... out of battle? these oh that's key bindings there oh yeah but I need to get out of this thing. oh shit they're gonna come and get me they're gonna come for me how do we oh, alright but that's not helping me now I can't figure out how to freaking H. That's not helping me. It's too far. Postal weapon. No, he wants me. I don't like that. Alright, I'm used to shift being run. So, alright, whatever. We're going in here. Oh my god. Why is my left This is not working! I just want to click on this. He, he, yes, I did. Because BB Tun's like, I think it'll be better if you have the keyboard and mouse. But, the problem is, now I can't click on anything. How do I freaking interact with things now? Forward, left, right, walk, use, sprint. Really? Sprint is... Is the same button as use? These bits has gotta be changed. If this is that's very dumb. Why can't we have multiple bindings for things? Oh, we can. Okay, here we go. Stupid consolification. Okay, um. You can't jump, right? There's no jumping in this game. Alright. Then. Let's get out of here. See how that goes. There we go. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. What? 
No, I'm going to the Citadel. I'm going to the Council. <sighs> Why? Oh, I can give him talents. This is me? Okay. We're... Ooh. How many points do I have? Alright. Oh yeah, we're doing this. I need that biotic protection. Alright, assault training. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. We're, I have one point left. I won't let me do it anymore. Oh well. Okay, let's see. Assault training. Ooh, opens up new dialogue op options. We're gonna do some charm. I need a lot of charm on her because she's, she's kind of one of those badass characters and she's gonna need a lot of charm if she's gonna like romance people. Alright. Oh, I think I know who this is. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. What did you find? Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a Spectre. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. You know what? Ka Caden is, like, totally not my type. We're gonna ro romance him anyways. <laughs> he's totally not my type. Wait, I can't talk to him more? We're gonna talk to him more. You don't want to keep the council waiting. Fine. love going on in, in the chat, which is totally fine. Oh, it's the bug guys. Yeah. They're just doing their things, being cute. I don't care what you guys say. The Volus won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push, and you can bet the Volus will be right on their coattails if they succeed. Allowing the humans to join us is a sound strategic move, but the Volus? No. The Hanna are likely to be next, then the Elcor. You may be right. Though the Hanna need to lighten up a bit first. You just don't like them because you have trouble understanding them. These people are all racist. They're, they're not even people, but yes, just saying. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The 
one who let the beacon get destroyed. Yeah. Oh. Oh crap. I'm not using I gotta unplug this. I gotta unplug the controller. I keep grabbing it. Put that away. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You arrogant bastard. That's it. I'm saying it. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? <sighs> no. You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. Dang it! Oh well. Well, they're your typical bureaucrats. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Mm. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Shadow The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. What about you and Saren, though? You're, 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 you're weaseling out of these questions. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Oh, he's a psychopath. So would I? <laughs> no. No, I won't. All right, let's see. Um, oh, lot of, lots of talking. What's, what about the Shadow Broker? Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. 
and the shadow broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics, doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Yeah, I suspect that guy is probably not good. You can't have a name like Shadow Broker and, and be completely removed from everything. It's just not, no. All right, let's see. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. What? You know what? I have not let anybody die on purpose in Fire Emblem, okay? And I did have made a decision that if they do add a New Game Plus when I stream it, I am going to play Maddening New Game Plus with all my stuff. I hope they add it. Alright, um, let's finish this conversation and then I'm going to go get myself um, a snack because I'm super hungry today. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. Is this legal? What happens when a Spectre goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The Counselors care for when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue oh, agent down. Oh, I bet we're going after him. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. How was this organization ever a good idea? <laughs> it just sounds like they are, um... Vigil- I don't know, vigilante, solo, whatever, and-, and oh my god. Well, I better become one of these so that I can take care of it. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. Well, I was born a Spectre. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done. Like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. But with him gone... Things are still up in the air. Alright. Did I ask about this? I don't remember. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. Guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. Well, yeah. Well, seriously, if, if they're going to have like all of this uh, power and to be able to um, act with um, without any type of constraints, I might as well be me. I mean, at least I know I'm not going to kill random people for no reason. Alright, let's get out of here. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. What? <laughs> I leveled up! Okay, did I get more stuffs? Ooh, I got six more points. <laughs> I 
Gotta get that charm up. What does Intimidate does? Do. Opens Intimidate. Uh, uh. Yeah, but I don't really Intimidate. Let's see. Resist damage. Vanguard. Yeah. Biotic protection by 21%. There we go. Yes! I unlock shotguns! Oh. <sighs> what is she gonna do? Let's see. Overkill? Alright, let's hope that they she she actually works with that. Alright, she's gonna get a shield boost. She's gonna be all about the rifles. There we go. Alright. Okay, that's fine. You know me and shotguns. Alright, and then I'm gonna finish doing doing up Kaiden, and then I'm gonna go get my, my hummus and crackers. Okay. Description. Yeah. Attack mine explosion damage done by sabotage damage. I don't know. I don't really care. He's gonna heal us. I like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave, need lots of heals. All right. Save. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We have a bite. Where am I supposed to go? Well, yeah. At least the hummus and crackers were good for my stomach. What guy? What? Oh, well, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Uh, why not? We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I can help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activated each time you see a Keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. 
We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Okay. Yes, cash. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the Counselor's assistants. Commander? Commander? Okay, guess that's all it is. Experience and monies. That's the best of both, both worlds. gotta find Garrus. Oh no. I have more hummus, but I'm out of crackers. We gotta go to Akora's Cor den anyways. Out of this place. Okay, I like that I can easily put away my weapon now. Um, how do I leave? Maybe, but I wouldn't believe everything you hear. I would. That's just it. Actually, I'm hearing would. it everywhere. All right, ward locations. There we go. Oh, this is no good. I don't even have a spoon to to eat the rest of this hummus. Hmm. A gentleman's club. Where's the gentle ladies club? That's her. This doesn't seem Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> shit. Okay. What's going on? Shields to save. Easier way to swap weapons. Not now, Commander. I can't. Holding shift won't do anything now because I changed the the key binding. gonna take me uh, forever to figure out all my key bindings and stuff. Is it an eye? 
Oh, that's... This is ridiculous. It's nothing! That's Tactics, Tactics HUD, right? Do I have anything on tab? I think I'm gonna just put it on, on tab. That seems good. Alright. There we go. This is where you have them dual abilities. I know, and it's up here. Oh. Yeah, but they have more than that. You can uh, oh, okay, okay, it's too much. Too much. I know, but I'm trying to get this figured out, and it's like too much information. There. Those were Saren's men. That's it. Bag him and tag him. Is this? <sighs> I'm, I'm very disappointed. I'm very, very disappointed. How is this any better than Resident Evil 4 Ultimate? Huh? Back off, Rex. This told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. The story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. I want to be caught in the middle. Hey there, sweetheart. You looking for some fun? Because I gotta say, that soldier get-up looks real good on that body of yours. <laughs> she does not look Why entertained. Just sweet little ass down beside old Hark. <laughs> oh. Have a drink. See where this goes. You're disgusting. I'd rather drink a cup of acid after chewing on a razor blade. You trying to hurt my feelings? You gotta do better than that. After 20 years with CSEC, I've been called every name in the book, Princess. Call me Princess again and you'll be picking your teeth up off the floor. Now tell me where Garrus is. Okay, okay, just relax. Garrus, you say? You must be one of Anderson's crew. Poor bastard's still trying to bring Saren down, huh? I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? What? Secrets? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? Then he got it was old. all very hush hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turian set him up. He said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. <laughs> this guy! <laughs> You're a pig. Just noticed that now, did you? He don't care! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. oh, I want to kill this guy. Why'd they kick him out? I have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. But it's a good story, though. The Heroes Fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> Just tell me where Garrus went. Garris was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. What do you know about Garris? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the executor. 
He'll pay for it soon enough. The executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. What's it like working for CSEC? You mean, what was it like? The executor suspended me without pay. Recurring violations. CSEC was keeping a file on me. Can you believe that? Every mistake I ever made went into the books. Get a little rough with a suspect, note in the file. Have a couple of drinks on duty, note in the file. Skim a couple of credits off a drug bus, note in the file. It's a goddamn witch hunt. You get off easy if you ask me. What the hell do you know? Working for C-Sec isn't like being a Marine. People get pissed off if we shoot somebody. Investigations, inquiries, rules, regulations. <laughs> okay. Every day I plow through enough red tape to choke a rhino. That's how you gotta be to do this job. So don't talk to me about right and wrong. You soldiers got it easy. You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility I just for that. yourself. I, I hate that I can't... Save your sermons. This ain't no church. <sighs> All right. How well do you know Captain Anderson? Met him a few times over the years. One of those hardcore military guys. Yes, sir. No, sir. Can't have any fun with a stick up your ass, sir. That's probably why he climbed the Alliance rank so fast. The military loves brown nosers. The captain's a good soldier. Sure, whatever. Dress him in a fancy suit, pin some shiny medals on his chest, and call him a hero. Everybody else does. But if he's so great, why the Spectres kick him out? Why don't you go ask him about that? I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink in peace. Commander! What do you want? Oh, this is the guy I was supposed uh, to. What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and... There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me. Me! Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet. <laughs> Is she really worth it? There must be other women. It's not just any woman I want. It's, it's her. And her alone. And you and, like, Look, 500 kid, other guys. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Enjoy your drink, General. Yeah, off you go. See you later, kid. I don't feel right just leaving like this. <laughs> don't waste your time, kid. Run away now while you still can. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? No. Those days are over. I'll just be what I am. A tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. Do you really want to be remembered this way? No, I'd rather not be remembered at all. But I see your point. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and... Act like a general. I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? No, of course. <laughs> it's like a new game is fetch, really? <laughs> well, aren't you aren't you ha glad I'm, I decided to play that? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Why can't you tell him yourself? Well, the last time he saw me, disparaging his ancestors and shouting his secrets in public. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zeltan. 
he's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. That's because you don't understand women, <laughs> And I was supposed to romance this guy. I got business here, but not with you. I'm fine. What? She dancing for nobody. I can't believe the smut you guys are having me play. Can I talk to the bartender? What? <laughs> Maybe it's not true. Harkin's an ass. Bet he's just messing with our heads. You probably. What's up here? alleyway oh there's a keeper Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. You gotta have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. According to your file, you survived back on Akuz when everyone else in your squad got killed. If anyone can find the worst elements of the Citadel and live to tell about it, it's you. <sighs> no promises, but if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. I guess it's another quest. No! Don't do that. Okay. How do I get to my journal? Alright. I bet you want. Ah, J for journal. Makes sense. Alright, so... Let's uh, uh, be on the lookout for information, okay. Nobody to talk to. Can't talk to you? No. A lot of people hanging out. Okay. Med clinic. Oh, we have another guy here. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doug. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go.
got him, Commander. I didn't need to use my... Oh, my God. I don't even know what my powers are. You know what? I'm going to... You guys do this shit to me because I can't drink. I know it. Let me see. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Glad I could help. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Okay, do you want me to sit there? <laughs> I... I there's too much. Just too much. I'm gonna read about this stuff and then I'll look into the um the weapon stuff. But I can't do five things at once. Does this have anything to do with the investigation into Saren? I think it might. Dr. Michelle, tell us what happened. A few days ago, a quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Oh, current squad. Man, if I get rid of Kite and... You know what? I don't even care. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> oh. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. 700 gold or bits or credits it's probably credits it's always credits in these sci-fi futures what is this prototype upgrade combining numerous advanced medical technologies to monitor and regulate all vital systems maximizing health healing and minimizing recovery time for the user i think that's pretty good 
I don't know how expensive these things are. Oh, crap. Oh, I can't buy this shit yet. First aid. I know, I'm, I'm still figuring out the UI. Uh, let's see. Health generation sounds good. Alright, no, stop that. Stop! Alright, options. I don't even know what that did. Did I actually get anything? There's just way too much stuff. I have no idea. <sighs> There's just too much stuff. That's giving me details, but I bought something I'm not, I'm not even sure where it's supposed to go. She's gonna get the, I think. She's gonna get the first aid interface. All right. Garrus didn't get anything. Shaira. I don't know where she is. Consorts Chambers. Uh. Okay. 
Yeah, guy. Septimus has sent word. Apparently, he sought the consort's forgiveness. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. That's right. It was a long time ago, though. I barely remember it. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. The consort is a wonderful person. She has quite a gift. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander, but I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding, a wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. <laughs> That's it. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Okay. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Okay. Why do I? Mm. Okay. So I finished that. Let's see. Quarters request Delta. Papers will work on that. Where is the Elcor Embassy? <laughs> I wasn't gonna choose that bit. You guys give me, like, so little credit. Oh, you, I'm not only about money, you guys. <laughs> I mean, I'm mostly about money, but not only. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Din. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? <laughs> Alright, so who am I looking for? Volus, right? I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture Didn't would we do bore this already? you, Earth Clan. I don't remember. Did we do this? Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel uh, and our many contributions to galactic society, no, I'm just gonna walk away now. we still do not hold a seat on the Council. 
Goodbye, Ambassador. <laughs> yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Well, we were supposed to do something here. Oh. I don't know what I don't know what races any of these guys are, okay? I'm coping. You guys probably have played this guy these games like at least two or three times. You know everything like the back of your hands, and you're like, and I know you're sitting there like, oh my god, I can't believe she just ran past the the Ansari or whatever the fuck they are, and I'm like, I I'm I'm completely blind here, you guys, completely. Strained greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving, I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Not true. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed. Anyone can discover my secret. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. So long. Farewell, human. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Ah, the Earth Clan again. What is it now? Eh, nothing. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Alright, so we convinced the Zeltan. Okay, so we're not gonna be able to get on it. Okay, let's just go to the. We gotta go to the Citadel. Let's see. Seasack Academy. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known oh, terrorist Oh, we read this. We did this already. Saren right, eliminated, can we just, but I uh, saw how he operates. Sometimes oh, but only if goodbye. there's no other goodbye. way. <laughs> Saren doesn't even Let's look go. for I him. should go. I'll be here if you need me. All right, there we go. been there before.
those would have been in there already. long time ago. Oh shit. Now I gotta do all this shit over again? saved something. Oh good. We're gonna do an actual hardcore save. Well, not hardcore, just a hard save. <laughs> Alright, so. You know what? I'm never gonna be able to learn my way around if wherever I go somewhere you're like, well that's not it. I'm like, well I have to explore! Just let me explore for fuck's sake. Let me randomly run into things and examine things so that I can I can engrave them into my brain. Looks like it's shut down. Fist knows we're coming. Hostile contact! Oh, I want to kill these guys.
I'm okay, I'm okay. Stop right there! Don't come any closer! Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot! Ah. Uh, nobody threatens me. They work for best. Save yourselves. Why is that... Why is that blue? <laughs> is that one of those things where I'm gonna choose it and I'm gonna regret it later? I'll just go with it. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like fist anyway. I would have never thought of that. Shooting people isn't always the answer. I don't know why I'm here and what I'm doing, but... Oh! I don't... <laughs> out here i'm trying to read chat figure out the mechanics and how to play this game figure out the ui which you guys all know like the back of your hand because you played them so much so you guys know where everything is and keep track of five different story story threads at the same time can you can you blame me for being for my brain being a little overloaded You, but you guys, see, Matt Nui is the only one who hasn't been busting my fucking chops. I'm just saying. Um, all right. All right. Well, they're both dead. We're just gonna get out of here. I can't get out of here. I'm stuck. I have to go forward. All right, well. <sighs> That's what I figure. All right, I gotta figure out, uh, or I could just die. I mean, that's an easy way to leave. All right, so let's see. It's blocked. Oh, that's all black. I can't. You're dead. All right, so.
Here's the upper markets in. Go talk to people. All right, so I have to be up here to get to see sex. They said down there were the lower alleyways or something. And this guy already. I remember your face. Really, that's impressive. Usually, you humans can't tell one Turian from another. This was the place. Now, are you going to give me a refund or not? Do you have your proof of purchase? What? No, no, I, I, I don't think you ever gave me one. I'm sorry, then. I can't help you. <sighs> but, what, what do you... Can't help you. Expat. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? Um, colonies? What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed it doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. But it doesn't oh. matter where you hail from. My goods are available to all. <sighs> um. It'll be better once I can figure out the controls, but also you have to put it from my position. I'm trying to fight, and then I have people, like three different people, saying to do certain things, and then I get con even more confused than I already am. What can you tell me about Novaria? The corporate capital of the Attican Traverse. Very cool. Very snowy. I don't get too many clients from there. They all have their own private suppliers. I'd like to know more about Pharos. It's an old Prothean world. Their buildings still litter the surface. The humans aren't the first to colonize it, but they are the most recent. Hmm. I just realized I haven't heard from my contact on that planet for some time. Ah, well, I'm sure he's fine. I should be going. As you say, EarthClan. Is that really... You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Mm, I don't know. Pleasure's all mine. Age old. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. <laughs> Leave me alone. Um... They say a lot of things. I was too busy killing them to count. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? I suppose. Here you go. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! I'm guessing that's not the, the, the last time we're going to be seeing that guy. Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. Still need to get to the one place. Yeah. 
tickets. I can't find them. Ashley looks totally un um, impressed. You know how stubborn your sister can be. The more you push in front, the more she'll run away. Yeah, you're probably right. Thanks. No, I do not want to play. Alright, so this is a basically a casino. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? Is this a casino? Among other things, yes. We've got some quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Are you the owner? Owner, cook, and bartender. I've even been known to dance a little when the mood strikes me. We've got some quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. He really wants me to play the, the slot machine. Goodbye. Enjoy your time here at Flux. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left too. Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. I assume CSEC is protecting her? They can't watch her all the time. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it for Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Chorus Dan is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. No! Get. Somebody hit the jackpot.
Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I saw the monument at Akuz. They got a whole section about you there. It's a miracle you survived. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Oh boy. Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. What do you know about specters? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make him out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like him too much, figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the council wouldn't use him, right? <laughs> oh, man. Don't you love utopian societies? <laughs> All right. Uh... How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You gotta meet all kinds of cool aliens, like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. <laughs> hey, Trevor. That's eh, fine. I'll be playing a little bit long longer still. So, Garrus, any regrets about leaving CSEC? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats CSEC. True enough. I'd rather be fighting than trusted to somebody else. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Okay, good. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Does this mean you're part of my team, Rex? Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Alright. Well, sorry, Ashley. You're out. Alright. I gotta look around first. That's how I came in. Oh no, that's how I came in. One sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? 
How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC Requisitions Officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? I don't have any Show me what you got. I don't think. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. <sighs> 330. I had infinite money in this game, then everything would be better. Okay, Jaleed. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Shorman, he's threatened you? Well, no. Uh, not exactly. But he wants to meet with me. I think he's going to kill me. And why do you think that? I... I can't really get into the details. But Shorbin will kill me if I leave here unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless you give me something more to go on. I... I can't. I'm sorry. Then I've got other work to do. But I... But nothing. Don't bother me unless you're willing to give me details. <sighs> right. Hey there! Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. <sighs> All right, let's help. Is this there guy. something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe. I think we got a murder. Would this you? Person. That's all I want. Someone to talk to oh, him. Oh, talk. Dang Tell it. him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is, and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Oh, well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorbin. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorbin. That's the guy who wanted us to scam the Keepers. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. Bastard. <laughs> no. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck! Mm. Hello, Commander. Well, all right, so there's like a million different things I'm supposed to be doing right now. That's a reporter's request. Sindel Moran. Best of Conrad, what harm could there be in talking with him if you need him again? Um, or is done. Why don't we do that real quick? And then we'll go find Corbin. Right after. Oh, wait, he's 
here. Okay. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? You can start by telling me the truth, Shorbin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after him. You... spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? No, but you're gonna tell me. Everything. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little... over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? What's so special about that? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. So you're just trying to get back what Jaleed already stole? We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? I suppose a little scanning here and there won't hurt anyone. Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. I'll go have a chat with him right now. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. After I look around here a little bit more. Alright, wasn't I supposed to meet somebody else down here? Hello there! Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? No. Goodbye. I'm in the wrong place. Yes, alright then. Good tidings to you, human. Sorry. So where is the den? all this. And combat armor. Fine, I'll give him that. I can't save.
Well, you guys were complaining because I wasn't using the. F Ugh. I, I, I give up. I'm just gonna play the way I play, and if you guys have a heart attack, you're having heart attacks. Well, okay, I'm gonna give you this one. This doesn't feel like a real shotgun. Shotgun has recoil. Plus, I don't know. It just feels like an energy weapon. It doesn't have the same griminess as Leon busting through a fucking door and shotgunning up like zombies. So... I just, it just doesn't have the same feeling. Oops. <laughs> That's a good thing. It's a good thing I missed. <laughs> Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. <laughs> Save yourselves. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never liked Fist anyway. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Throw enemies and objects using mass touch. Oh, increases pistol damage and accuracy for his weapon. Yes. All right, that didn't. again.
have a shield. Wait! Don't kill me, I surrender! Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. <sighs> I am in charge here. You ever pull another stunt like that? It was the only contract I had left. And don't we have something more pressing to worry about? That Quarian's dead if we don't go now. Take them all. We can take them all. All right, now what do we do? Okay, we gotta be there in three minutes. I don't know where this place is, but um, probably gonna probably gonna die. Oh shit! What are you doing? You're in the way! before they kill her. Where is the alley? Did you bring it? Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Couldn't trust him. Don't worry about Fist. 
He got what was coming to him. Then I guess there are two things I need to thank you for. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. What? That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. What? What are the Reapers? I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this.
Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Oh boy. Well, sorry. No. We gotta, we gotta get, uh... Chusband's wife will win, I guess. Alright. Toggle her helmet. Okay. Let's get out of here. It won't let me save. Oh, it, it does let me save. supposed to know any of this <sighs> all right oh my back is killing me all right uh, I'm gonna take a quick break go to the bathroom oh I know about Corians I don't know <laughs> I know enough I know enough from um, second-hand information from the husband. <laughs> There's a reason why. <laughs> There's a reason why I have her in my team. <laughs> All right. Well, fine. I will see what I can do. Let's see, squad. Oh, I have points. There I go. Intimidate. Ah. Oh, I guess I... Damn it. Oh well, it gives me more dialogue options. In case I want to be angry. <laughs> what? In case you want to be angry. You need some help with the way I play. Well, how am I supposed to know that?
It just has them as defensive. Mm. I can't find anything for that squad stuff. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Good. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. Uh, okay, we'll try this again. <sighs> what do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Expensive bar over here. I, I mean, I saw that his name popped up. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? What have you got? Information, mostly. Oh, that's right. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Hmm. Oh! But... But hold on. I mean... Is this one of those moral moral dilemmas? <sighs> I know. I know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. How long do you think this research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. You gotta have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, 
We need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. How long do you think this research is going to take? This is a long-term study. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other questions. No, I wasn't drawn to the red. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? Tell me again what you've been told about your wife. As I said, I've been told nothing. I don't understand why they won't release her body to me. It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. Mr. Bacha, your wife died defending humanity. We still need her help. What right does the military have to hold her body? She's already given her life. Hmm, well, did she do it willingly? We don't know. If the military had asked your wife to submit to tests to save human lives, what would she have said? It doesn't matter. She's dead. I just want her to come home. I miss her so much. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers. Feel bad for the guy, but... Not much we can do. Alright, what were you doing again? Um... Oh yeah, I got to to lead. Alright, we're going to go to Forest. Okay, so. Well, if I can actually get in there without getting shot at. Oh no, that's not the that's a different place. Never mind. Wait, no, this was the right place. I don't even know anymore. about your work with CSAC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. She puts on a brave face. I got business here, but not with you. Fine, fine. If you've got questions about Jenna, meet me at 
at CSEC Academy. What did you just say? Push it off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. That was odd. What was he trying to tell us? I guess we better go find out. Oh boy. many places. Too many. Oh, right here. All right. I've told you before, you're not up. Loud in here. This one believes it has the right. was running towards that arrow and then you said nope that's not the academy so I ran past <laughs> like <laughs> see I was going this way The Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jalid. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the Keeper. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... you're helping us? But... well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Okay... Can I actually clear a quest? To 
Detective Chellick, come into my office. I want to discuss this in private. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were just getting information, Chalik. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always thinking ahead, Detective? It's part of the job. Now are you gonna help me or not? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. And another quest. I completed some quests. Places. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Do you have the mods? Show her the goods. Looks good. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. I need some healing items. <sighs> they don't give any, um... I'm just looking for my med packs. Why is it so hard to find freaking med packs?
seems way too complicated. Why can't I just have a regular first aid kit? Why do we have to have specific first aid kits that you have to go to a medical office? I feel like that's just, that's just, um, complexity for complexity's sake. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Here's your shipment, Jellic. Excellent. This is everything I need. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it. You've earned some payment for your work. As for Jenna, I'll make sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. I keep wanting to hit tab. Why do I keep hitting tab? Uh, I'm I'm not sure. I'll have to go and find out. All right. Um. All right. That was another one that was fixed. that replenished it. Okay, so... Out of there. Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. I know Doran. If he says you're cheating, you're cheating. I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. Uh -huh. Still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course, nobody notices those. 
Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. Oh, well that's so I much just better. Need a few more wins recorded. What's in this for me? Keep your winnings. That should be payment enough, I think. Huh. So, do I cheat or do I not cheat? Does the device help me win? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. Well, I don't know. I really don't gamble. So I'm not, I'm not into the whole gambling thing. Why don't you just sell the device then? What? No. This device is archaic. It uses brute force to achieve its goal. Besides, you saw how easily it was detected. My system, when it's complete, will be far more efficient and completely undetectable. All right, now. I think I'll take my chances the old-fashioned way. Hmm. Suit yourself. Well, I have some calculations to do. Goodbye. All right. See you later. came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's day. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. And yet, you seem less than pleased. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. Oh, really? Hey, good to see another human in Yeah, done. Still have to deliver the information. What the heck? Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got Fist's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Ooh, I can offer more. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. I gave him more cash? Oh, I did. Ugh. All right. I'm gonna scan seven more peepers. Dang it, now I'm gonna have that quest just sitting in my log forever. Why not? It's worth cash. And you know how I know what I think about cash? Let's 
go to the tower then. doing just sitting there come on Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the council Eden Prime was a major victory the beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit and one step closer to the return of the Reapers you wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience. They serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Why am I red? Um, does it matter? Not yet. Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. Oh, you mean my, uh... Oh. Well, my my stream didn't drop to the red. I mean, my, uh... <sighs> bandwidth. So, I don't know. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The Commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Well, just what Commander I Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. 
Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Um, so now what? What's my first mission? We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Oh, I got the achievement. All right. All right. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. He's got a lot on his mind. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Spectre training unlocked. All right, so I actually think this is a really good place to stop. I mean, that was a big story beat. We are now at Spectre. Now it's a whole new world of shit I probably got to learn and go through.